हाँ जो ये मांग रही हूँ तो वो मांच खाया अंदर कोई वो वाइन वाइन का शनाबे वाइन शनाबे का शनाबे का इन में दियो वाइन वाइन बने जब चार बोगा जब बोले चार गावी की दौरान मुझे बोले मुझे नहीं दिया सुरक्षा अरे बात नहीं ना तो नहीं बोले आंगे नहीं तो दियो वाइन मुझे बोले मुझे नहीं तो कौन दा दा नूम दा ये गांशी आने न मायो स्पर्धिकन नेतुगो नेतुगो आनुं तावो कुमार की अनिश्चिनादे इखागी इधर योग्य बोइमो आवेइन आवेइन इंग्लिश यावच चुस्सी इकनुनाद इकनुनाद वाज इकनुनाद इकनुनाद वाज बिनाल इकनुनाद मने जो कोई दशु वाले शुद्ध कोई दिन गोलान Ajaran berjalan masih relatives, relatives and friends. Those of you who come here to uh, enjoy the powwow, I will take uh, a couple of minutes to recite very briefly the uh, history of this powwow called Honor the Earth. The honor of the earth uh, was born out of a dream, from a dream that uh, showed that showed us, not just myself, but many of us. They showed us an earth that was heaped with garbage, heaped with cans, beer cans, food cans, plastic bags, trash and garbage covered the earth and somewhere in that earth somewhere in that pile of garbage arose a little wisp of smoke tobacco smoke somewhere under all of that garbage was a person speaking the original language of this land through that garbage he is sending up his prayer the grandmother and the grandfather were sending up their, their prayers so that they could see the sun. They could see the sun in the sky. And that was the dream. And that dream repeated itself to many people. Back in 1970, there was a man by the name of Peter Larson, who at that time was serving on the tribal council of this reservation, of this nation. He saw that coming shortly would be a dispute of the federal government over a place called the Winter Dam, the dam that holds back the water called the Chippewa Village, a white name. They called it the Chippewa Village if it was a Anishinaabe. They would have called it the Ojibwe College. Over that dispute, Peter and uh, others who were trying to raise the awareness of the people of this reserve of the forthcoming, forthcoming struggle, they could not get many people interested in what was going to happen. He and a uh, young leader by the name of Rick Baker at that time decided that they would, uh, they would call the St. Paul American Indian Movement. And they called me, and Peter talked to me over the phone and asked me to come home for some meetings. And so I began to attend some meetings, community meetings here on the reserve. Mike Tribble and myself and some other young people decided we've got to raise the awareness of the people because of something that's coming. We uh, struggled real hard. We could not get much interest in what was going on. We could not raise the awareness of the, of the people in town, of the surrounding community. There was only two people that were interested, and one of them was Tony, Tony Wise. And there was another man who was uh, serving, in, serving in the uh, Wisconsin State Legislature who became interested
it. Finally, uh, it came down to where there was going to be no, no interest shown by the people about what was taking place. During that time, the federal government sent agents here with a piece of paper for people to sign so that the federal government could operate the, the dam for another 50 years for $17 a year. And we said, no, we can't do that. You built the dam over the objections of our grandfathers and grandmothers. You built the dam and flooded graves and destroyed cranberry fields and blueberry fields and wild, wild rice fields without regard to our rights, without regard to our life, without regard to our future. We are not going to sign the paper. And the tribal, the tribal government stood strong on that decision. So the, the tribe made it stand and that summer, we came here, and with the help of the other members of the American Indian Movement from Indian Country, we stopped the dam. We took over, took control of the dam, and we forced the Wisconsin State Government to recognize what we were doing. Over the objections of the governor of the state at that time, the federal government, was going to attack us with the United States Army. But luckily, the, uh, the governor of the state of Wisconsin knew what was going on and was sympathetic to, the, to our struggle. And so the battle, the uh, coming battle with the United States Army did not happen. Instead, we, we agreed to, uh, to a conciliation and that uh, negotiations would take place rather than the federal government uh, trampling all over our rights again. So that, that takeover of the dam result, resulted in the founding of this power called Honor the Earth. And at this moment, I remember a lot of, a lot of our people, including uh, Mary White, who passed away, who stood there as an Anishinaabe boy on the dam on the dam facing the guns to protect our rights and protect our land. And so I want to ask that we, we remember them, uh, Jim and Mary White, and other members of the, uh, of the community who are members, who are members of the, of the American Indian Movement. So that's a little bit of history about this place, about why we are, we, we hold the honor, the earth power, to, uh, to remind us, to remind the community that all of us are responsible for the earth. When you read about what is happening in the Gulf down there in uh, Louisiana and other places, the only talk that is commented on television is how many billions of dollars that, that, that people are going to lose. It's like they don't care about the fish don't care about the animals, they don't care about the earth. They only care about how much money they are not going to make. And I wonder, I wonder what they will think when there is no earth from which to exploit money and, uh, and, and riches and, and all of that. So here for a little bit, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to ask you to think about the earth. When these dancers come into the arena from that east door, they are given tobacco. During their dance in or dance around this, around this arena, they sprinkle that, that tobacco from their hand upon the earth. That is their wish that the earth may remain strong and clean. Clean and strong so that our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, our future children all the way to the seventh generation will still have an earth to live on. And more than that, will still have clean water to drink. And so I'd like to remember all of those people who stood up for, for our rights, for our treaty rights everywhere. I'd like to remember all of those who are no longer with us. At this time too, uh, ladies and gentlemen, relatives, I'd like to ask you to remember some other people. 
our sons and daughters, our nephews and our nieces over there in that political war, making war upon another, another non-white people. Let you remember them, our sons and daughters, and ask the Creator to bring them home safely. At this time, too, I'd like to ask you, families, to uh, just remember for a minute or two our sons and daughters who are locked up, some of them are within the, within the range of our radio voice up there in Gordon and over there in Camp Flambo. We ask the Creator to take care of you. Think hard about coming home and living a good, sober, drug-free life. So at this time, then, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, I would ask the Creator to look down upon us with kindness and with goodness and with peace in each of your of your hearts. And dance hard, dance hard here. Everybody is invited to dance here. I'll be here when you do it. Mr. Dan Preston. 
coming into this power arena, we call it our main northern battle traditional. Heather muscle. They wear the same colors of the same
we carry it on once again. We're back to the LCO Badgers. We're on the home stretch, boys, in the goal. the four quarters of the universe, the four races of mankind. 
And as we listen to this song, and we watch these dancers come into this grounds this evening, let me tell you, truly, we have to be one of the most beautiful races on the face of this earth. How about a round of applause one more time for these dancers and singers. And now as we honor our staff and flags, bear with us with this beautiful flag song, Pipestone, whenever you're ready. Thank you.